Hey everybody, it's Will here again. Hope everybody's doing well and having a fantastic start to their 2020 thus far. I'm here today to talk about a very cool upgrade that I've found that I'm going to be doing to this guitar. And this is my Helm Custom Guitars uh, S-Type. It was made for me by my good buddy Tyson Spinney uh, here in Nova Scotia and Helm Custom Guitars is his business. He repairs, does all manner of um, you know, fretwork, finishing, pickup, rewinding, all that sort of thing. But he also builds guitars. And he made me this beauty from scratch. I call her Miss DeVille. It's shell pink. Uh, it's even got the pink inlays in it. Hand-wound pickups by Tyson. Uh, Goto hardware. Really nice instrument. Now, the one complaint I have about it is the bridge saddles. And I'll try to get a close-up here so you can see. This is a Goto 510 bridge with the bent steel saddles, kind of the more vintage style, as opposed to the solid steel ones you see on you know, newer strap type guitars and that sort of thing. But you can see, hopefully, um, the problem here. These set screws stick up incredibly high, and if your palm is rubbing on those uh, in the heat of the moment, <laughs> it can cause some pretty serious injury. Now, I've been thankful that I haven't seriously injured my hand, but I've been annoyed and pricked enough times by these saddles that something had to be done. So, what did I come up with? Enter the Highwood saddles, the HG contoured saddles. Here's a little look at them. Sorry for the glare. Um, so let's just, um, there's a few selling points here I'll just put on the screen. So these were designed to improve upon the original bent steel saddle, Leo's original design. Uh, and these points here, uh, no more hand or palm injuries. Keeps original S type tone, which I find that a bent steel saddle has more of a sparkle to it than some of the uh, newer solid steel saddles that you see on more modern Strat type guitars. Uh, better sustain and quicker attack. Vintage appearance, nickel plated. These particular ones are the aged or relict versions, and they're notched for easier string bending, which we'll get a closer look at a little bit later. So part of the way that they're able to do this, um, this thing where there's no hand or palm injuries is that the screws actually thread from the bottom, so the adjustment screws will never actually come through the top of the saddle. Um, this is, you might be able to see it there, but essentially, the, uh, yeah, the screw is threaded from the bottom. So that's how they're able to achieve that. And it's the same relative mass, I believe, as a bent saddle, which is kind of cool too. Um, one thing I found out from watching a review of these is that I think a lot of other sort of boutique bent style vintage saddles are quite hard. Uh, like the Callahams and that sort of a thing. I believe that they're you know around 110 Rockwell. And that's so that they don't cut grooves in the saddle, which I'll try to show on this. Um, hopefully it'll appear. There's the saddle. But basically, there are grooves that get caught, get cut rather, in the saddle. I don't think that's going to focus quite how I want, but we'll have a closer look at it um, when I have the saddles off the guitar. But anyway, so they, um, these are a, uh, probably about a 50 Rockwell hardness. So they're still hard enough that you're not going to cut grooves in them, but it's not as hard as say like a Callaham saddle or some of these other boutique ones. So anyway, once again, here we are with the Highwood HG contoured saddles, and I look forward to putting these on the guitar. These came to me in Canada from all the way in the Netherlands, and we're going to see how they sound here soon. All right, catch you later. And here's a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison between the Goto bent steel saddle and the Highwood saddle. Firstly, you can see the difference in the design where the Highwood is bent around and how the screw would thread in from the bottom. Um, whereas the, uh, the Goto is just a standard uh, replica of the Fender. You can also see how now how high the saddles actually do stick up on the, uh, 
Goto saddle. And if I can try to show that, this saddle doesn't have a lot of grooving in it, the Goto, but it does have some. And you can see the little notch that's cut in the high wood to aid with string bending. I just thought I would uh, show you guys that.
fresh set of Highwood Contoured saddles installed. Check these out. Don't they look fantastic? It was really easy to get them installed. I just swapped out the old Godos, um, making a mental note of roughly where the intonation would go, and then put the new Highwoods in. It's worth noting that on this Godo 510, there's little uh, tracks underneath the low E and high E saddles. So you want to use the outer two saddles from the package when you uh, install them. And again, they make uh, three different widths, I believe. So if you have a vintage Strat, you get the widest ones. I think some Mexican fenders might have a different width. And then this being a Japanese bridge, the Godo, it's a different width yet again. So they do offer the three different widths. You just measure your guitar or contact them and they'll tell you exactly what you need for your guitar. Thank you.